Today we'll take a look at how to create a multi-module project in LaTeX. Multi-module projects are projects that cross language or technology boundaries. For instance, you might have a Java application that uses a database and, a project, and what you're interested in is understanding how a change to the database, a table, a column, a stored procedure, would how it would affect your uh, how and what java classes would be affected by that change so let's go ahead and create a new project and we'll choose the enterprise java profile because this is a java project that we'll take a look at and uh, and we'll choose a module type and let's start with the java module and the project that i'm going to use today is a is called caveat mtor which is an auction application which is part of hibernate so we'll choose take all the class files in the directory of caveat mtor and I'll next choose a module type called hibernate because that's the that's where I get the dependencies from my java classes to the database tables and uh, and stored procedures and so on and I'll choose the hibernate config file and and we'll add the config file and uh, and now we'll go ahead and create a project. So we have created a project which has which is now a multi-module project because it has two 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 modules, Java and Hibernate, and we'll look at it as in a DSM. And you can see that the DSM consists of two subsystems, a Java subsystem which contains which is organized by the packages and inside packages are classes, the regular organization that you'd expect. And then let's take a look inside the Hibernate subsystem and you can see that it consists of a DBO. And if I were to expand DBO, you would see that it contains queries and tables. And then the other subsystem are the Java classes organized by package. And you can see that there is a model package, a persistence.audit package. And inside it are classes which, have the same, which are similar to Java classes. Uh, however, we don't see any dependencies from the Java class, from the Java project to Hibernate at the moment. And in fact, let me just move Hibernate down. I would have expected in a multi-module project that the Java classes would have dependencies on Hibernate. Actually, in, inside Hibernate would be DBO and the tables. And I would expect to see those dependencies. So what we need to do now is to configure the project so that we can merge the different modules. So we'll go to project options and we'll say perform module merge and we'll fix the module merge order so that the Java module is the first module. So there are, there are classes inside Java and there are classes inside Hibernate and we want to take those classes and merge them, take the classes from Hibernate and merge them into the Java classes. So we'll go ahead and we'll say okay. And we'll see that now we have dependencies from Java classes to, to Hibernate. And in fact, if you were to expand it, you would see that now we are left with DBO and that those Java classes have dependencies on DBO tables. Um, and so here is an example of, of a project that spans technology boundaries. And in fact, you could throw in a database here too, and then you would go down from Java to, the, to Hibernate to the database uh, and I'll leave that as an exercise for those of you who are interested and you can create similar projects with C and C++ and Java uh, and in fact Latix is completely uh, uh, configurable and allows you to create projects uh, multi-module projects that can span a variety of technologies.